Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, we're going to be showing you how you can make vertical grids using Lost. Now, vertical grids are a little bit different, and it's something that no other grid system really has. So let's get going on seeing what vertical grids are and how they can help you. Okay, so now that we've covered responsive grids, we covered your sort of basic grids. Now let's cover something that's sort of unique to Lost itself. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this section. I'm gonna rename it uh, Grid 2 because this is going to be a different grid here. And uh, in our CSS here, uh, I'm gonna make some room for Grid 2. Um, let's go ahead and paste this down here. We're gonna say grid two is going to be 100% of the parent container. So it's gonna be with 100%. It's also gonna contain a clear fix. And let's give this a height as well. So this is going to be different, okay? So we're gonna give it a height and the height is going to be just say 500 pixels. Now let's go ahead and say dot grid hyphen two and then div and then inside of this we're going to give this a lost hyphen row so you've seen lost hyphen column lost hyphen row is for a vertical grid which is uh, something that's really super awesome so let's go ahead and say this is going to be one half and let's see what sort of results a lost row of one half has on a grid with one two three four five items in it. So let's check this out and see exactly what happens. So I'm going to refresh. So what's interesting about this is that we have inside of this, we have a grid two. Let's come here. Let's open this up. This grid two is 500 pixels. So it's getting that 500 pixels that we gave it. And then if we go ahead and look at our grid items, you can see that we have two items that are taking up this entire space. Now the other items sort of get pushed out of this grid. In fact, if we were to throw an overflow hidden on this, um, you'd see that they don't even show up at all because they're uh, outside of the container essentially. So what we're saying is grid two have lost columns that take up uh, each one of these divs should be taking up one half of the parent container. Now, if we know we're going to have five divs in here, we can say one fifth, we can come in here and refresh this. And as you can see it's calculating uh, using this margin bottom, which is currently the same as the gutters on the rest of the site. And it's calculating this height based on how many of these divs need to fit in this container. So as you can see, it's perfectly 500 and there's no margin bottom on the last one. And you can think of this as a little bit different approach to filling elements in a container. Now, what's cool about this is that you essentially just don't have to do the math yourself. You could come in here and you could say, okay, well, I know I'm gonna have, let's say four items inside of this grid. It needs to be 500 pixels. Then each one needs to be, uh, you know, one point or 100 and 25 pixels tall or you could do 100 pixels tall and then with a 25 uh, pixel gutter and then you're just having to get into some math here uh, in this way you can control the height of the container and have your uh, children of that container just automatically take up that entire space so these are vertical grids for loss now this may not be something that you find totally useful in every situation however it's a nice thing to have when working on your layouts it just gives you another tool in your arsenal to easily accomplish something that wasn't necessarily that easy to accomplish before so as always this is scott with level up tutorials if you have any questions or comments leave a comment in the video or hit us up at twitter or facebook at level up tutorials i'd love to hear from you thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye